for a song for us. Oh. If it, you if we can ask. Sing. Yeah. So please, the stage is yours. say that something from there or from there can help me now. No, all in general, uh, it is uh, just the way how I grew up. <laughs> and uh, now I am uh, I'm the same that, uh, that time. As before, yeah. Do we have some uh, questions for Armenia? Yeah, please stand up uh, from Australian uh, radio first. And then. Hi, Eva, Alistair Birch from Australian radio. You're singing this time an original song, but you're also known for singing songs based on the work of Syat Nova. Um, can you tell us who he is or was, and what he means to, to Armenians in general, and to you in particular? You know, in general, uh, the songs of Sayat Nova, they are, they are very unique and they are saved for us, for everybody. That's why uh, usually our singers, they are not allowed to sing uh, his songs if something can be wrong. Even one note, if it's wrong, then everything is wrong. <laughs> uh, everybody loves his songs. Uh, you know, he had a very uh, unhappy life because he couldn't be uh, with the woman who, who, who was uh, his, the only woman. He loved her. But unfortunately, he couldn't live with her, he couldn't be with her, because she was a princess. Uh, and again, because of love, he wasn't happy. And uh, his life wasn't happy. And Armenian uh, people, uh, they, um, they appreciate that. Uh, that these songs, they were created by him uh, at the time when his heart was bleeding, really bleeding, uh, I cannot even uh, tell you how uh, terrible was his life, uh, because um, I don't know uh, the whole history of his life. Uh, but you know, uh, the words of the songs, uh, they are so wide, the, the meaning of the, the words, uh, they are very, very wide and... Uh, they have 
She wants to say that uh, the songs of Sayat Nova, the words, have wider meaning than uh, you see it from the first time. You need to go deeper into song and read between, between the lines. Yes. Um, I wanted to say that, but I didn't know how to explain you that. We got another question. Yeah, please stand up in the back. Uh, yeah, Luke Fisher from ESC Daily. Um, I just wanted to ask you, how long is your hair? Because we noticed this in the rehearsal, and how do you manage with it? Well, uh, some days ago I cut it a little bit. That's why now uh, I think a meter, maybe. <laughs> a meter. One meter. One meter. Four. For how many years have you been growing the hair? <laughs> For many years. <laughs> For many years. Yeah, we have another question. Eric from Luxembourg. Hello, Yara. Um, you did a very interesting promotional tour all around Europe, and I would like to know what team was behind it. Was it an, an international team? Was it made up of only Armenians? And where did it take you to? Where, where did it take you to? And who was behind this promotional tour? People who supported you? What PR team? in general, created by uh, my producer, Valery Sarian. Here he is. <laughs> yes, it was his idea. And uh, in the team, uh, during this promo tour, there were two people, me and a man with me, just to help me. Uh, and the, in the first time of my promo tour, it was Mm, the composer, Armen Martiresan, he was with me, he's my friend. Uh, and on the second uh, part of the promo tour, it was um, the... Uh, how to say... The, ju yes, just uh, an assistant of uh, our uh, center, producing center, Ar Armenia Production. Uh, I think that uh, there is no need to have 10 or 20 people in the delegation during the promo tour uh, because, well, uh, yes, the team is Armenian, only Armenian. What countries did you go to? Um, I went to Ukraine, to Russia, to Belgium, to Holland, uh, Cyprus, Greece. Crete, uh, Germany, and uh, in every country I was in five, six uh, cities. It was very interesting because everywhere I planted a tree. Now I can uh, plant a tree everywhere. You just ask me and I will come and plant you a tree. <laughs> a tree from Yevarivas. <laughs> a tree from Yevarivas. We got another question. Yeah, and then we got. One in the back. This is Nikos from Greece. I wish you good luck. First of all, you have two records in the Eurovision Song Contest so far. You are the tallest woman in the history of the Eurovision. And uh, you have the longest hair also. <laughs> uh, I would like you to tell me about uh, the history of the apricot stone. What does it mean in the Armenian tradition? In general, apricot is uh, a national fruit of our country. You know, in uh, the, the translation from old Latin, if I'm not mistaken, of the word apricot is Armeniaka. Uh, Rus, Prunus, Prunus, I didn't know that, but I knew Armenian. Prunus Armeniaka. And uh, I think that it's enough. <laughs> We got one last question in, in, the, in the back and then, yeah, two more questions and then we'll go to the photo moment. Uh, hello, Yeva, hello, the team. Uh, and in here from Isikaz. Uh, I'd like to ask, uh, there were uh, several rumors that you will be joined on stage by famous Duduk player, Duduk Master Jovan Gasparian. 
but we have not seen him yet. So will it happen and uh, uh, how your cooperation is going?